In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to conditionally format discrete rows in the visualization. So to start off, let's look back at this blog post by Ryan Sleeper. And if you're not following his blog, you should be, because it's chock full of amazing tips. So in this example, he looks at how to conditionally format individual rows or columns. And as you read through, you'll see that he does some conditional formatting on each row separately. So what I wanted to do was slightly different. So I thought I would show that to you today. So the first thing I want to look at is your typical table that has something like customer sales, I'm sorry, customer name. And let's say you want sales in the columns. And you want to create a profit ratio to have next to that. So I'm going to create a new calculated field called profit ratio. And it's just the sum of profit divided by the sum of sales. Hit OK. And then I'm going to go, I like to always go ahead and set the default number format for my uh, fields right after I create them. So I'm just going to set it to zero decimals. I'm going to stick profit ratio in the columns. And maybe I want this one to be a lollipop chart. So I'm going to just duplicate the field. And I'm going to drag it up here to make it a dual axis and then synchronize. OK, so now what I need to do is I need to go back to my sales option on the marks card, make this a bar. And then I want to go to the first profit ratio on the marks card and make that a bar and make it nice and thin. And you can see I've got my lollipop coming along there. And this one, I'm going to force it to a circle just, just in case Tableau decides to change it. So uh, this one is my circle. So I want to also, OK, says move marks back. OK, so that means they're in the front. That's good. That's what I want. Now what we want to do is we want to conditionally format these. Uh, basically, I want to color code my lollipops so that I could tell whether uh, or not they're within certain profit ranges. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another calculated field. And I'm going to call it profit level. And I'm just going to do a simple if statement. I'm going to say if my profit ratio is bigger than, uh, or let's say it's uh, less than or equal to zero, then unprofitable. Else if profit ratio is uh, greater than or equal to 0.2, then highly profitable. Else profitable. And these could be set up in lots of, lots, lots of different ways. Else Profitable. I'm just kind of picking these at random here. Hit OK. And you'll see now I have a uh, discrete measure called profit level. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that to the color shelf of my circles. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and double click on this. And I want my highly profitables to maybe be, uh, let's use, uh, I know I have a nice color palette here. Maybe let's go with this color brewer. I want those to be like a dark green. I want my profitable to be green and maybe my unprofitable to be a blue, something like that. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my bar and I'm going to color that the same way so that my, my everything looks OK. And now notice that my sales are gray. That's OK. I can always go to that bar and let's, I don't want to color code those bars. I'm just going to leave that the way it is. But the use case here is I want my customer name to also be color coded by this uh, profit level field. Well, you can't do that here because I don't have a shelf for a, color, for a customer name on my marks card. So to get around that, I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm just going to call it zero. And it's just going to be the average of zero. And all this is doing is just giving me a constant. So I'm going to drag that to, the, to the, uh, the column shelf as my first field. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to a Gantt bar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick customer name on the label. And notice how I've got my customer name just to the left of my bar. So what I can do now is I can remove the, uh, I can just set my transparency to zero on the Gantt bar. And then I'm just going to play around with the axis a little bit. So I double click on it. First off, I'm going to get rid of the title. I'm going to set it to fix start and end, zero to 0.5. And basically I'm doing this. So if I hit apply, what you'll see is all of my names will shift over here to the left hand side. So it looks like it's part of the table. So it looks like it's the rows. So that's nice and neat how it shifts over there. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and turn off my tick marks. So basically my axis disappears. So now I can go ahead and uncheck the show header here. And I've got my list of customers. Okay. So now notice I have a green, uh, I have my, my, uh, my continuous measure of zero here, which shows up on the marks card. So what I can do now is I can use the color shelf here. And what I want to do is I want to color code these by the profit level. And it doesn't look like anything happened. Well, if I click on the uh, label shelf, I can go ahead and go to font and choose match mark color. And just like that, I can now see my names are the same color as my bars. Well, now it might be nice to actually have all three of these the same. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my sales and throw profit level on color there as well. So now I can see the same color going across. Now uh, I have noticed how all three of these panes are the same size. Tableau doesn't let you control each of these separately. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab the edge of one of these. Let me go ahead and see if I can just grab the edge. No, it's not letting me quite grab the edge here. Oh, there we go. And I'm just going to shrink it down. And you'll notice how it looks a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and hide the header for my profit ratio. Okay, so now you can see uh, my tooltips don't look really that great. Um, you see I've got this average, I've got this zero field, so I'm just going to go up here and on my, I'm going to untick the include in tooltip. So now this looks nice and neat, and I can even hover over a person, and I see their name and whether they're unprofitable and all that kind of stuff. So that looks exactly the way I want. The last finishing touch I might do here is I'm going to go ahead and format. I'm going to go to my, uh, my shading, and I'm going to increase my band size on my rows by one. And what that does is it, it just helps me distinguish the, uh, the, the different rows. Now, once I do that, it makes this lighter green a little bit harder to see, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe change my color palette. Uh, let's go with, um, let's pick out something else here. Uh, um, maybe I'll choose a slightly different green here. So let me maybe pick this one, something like that. Okay, so now that makes it a little bit easier to see. Um, actually, I don't really like that. I'm going to leave it the way it was and then go to my Tableau uh, 20 palette and pick the light green from there. Okay, that's a, that's a better green. Okay, so anyway, so this is a real quick way to, to create a... Um, a set of measures that has the uh, the customer name at the top, um, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, now, what you might want to do is notice how I no longer have customer name as a header. So to work around that, what I could do is I could drag this zero on here again on the secondary axis. And now I can format this, I can edit this axis, and I can just give it a title of customer name. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my tick marks off. And now you can see it says customer name in there, which is really nice. And maybe I should do that and see how my profit ratio came back here. So let's go ahead and edit this axis. And I'm going to, again, turn off my tick marks. Okay, so now it says profit ratio here. And maybe for sales, I could do the same thing then. I'll take sales and drag it there. And I'm going to go ahead and synchronize those. And on my sales axis, I want this one to be, I want them both to be bars. There we go. So that's nice and neat. And now I can format this axis. Oops, sorry, not format. I want to edit this axis and go ahead and again turn off my tick marks. So now I've got these nice headers at the top. And then probably down here at the bottom, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take off. Um, actually, this might look a little bit better. Let me undo that. Let me edit this axis again. I'm going to actually turn my tick marks back on here. I just had an idea. So hit OK there. And then let me edit this axis. Go to tick marks, make them both automatic. All right, so now what I could do down here on my second, my uh, primary axis is I'm going to take the title off and set the tick marks down here. This way everything is at the top. So again, I can go into my profit ratio, remove the title, go to tick marks, set them both to none. Okay, so now this looks a lot better. Uh, you know, the customer name is, is up at the top, but at least the, the labels are aligned and things like that. Um, oh, I need to go here to my, uh, my second zero. It looks like that got messed up there. Let me change that to a Gantt bar and then synchronize the axis. And I need to actually go to this one again and then set the color 
to the node transparency. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So that looks, um, that's a neat little way to basically create um, what looks like a uh, conditionally formatted table or visualization, um, but uh, allowing you to also color code a discrete element. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. Have a great day.